chapter 3, lesson 2, is subtraction with regrouping in the ones, tens, and hundreds. So now we have regrouping, which also means borrow. So the key to success is the pairings. So I'll start to write them down. 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. So these were helpful for addition, therefore they should be just as helpful for subtraction. So the problems that we will be dealing with would be on page 60. The first problem is already written in computational form. So all we have to do is subtract, but we start with a far right and we can't take away six from zero, so we need to borrow. This becomes one, regroup becomes 10. Therefore, from six, we need four more to get to 10, so that would be a four. This, we can't, we can't subtract five from one, so we need to borrow, makes it five, regrouped as 11. So I'll put that on the side, 11 minus 5. So again, for consistency, we start to think from 5. We need another 5 to get to 10, which means to get to 11, that would be a 6. So this is 6. 5 minus 4 is 1, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So our answer should be 2,164. In problem 2, it says find the difference between the numbers. So in this case, we have to write it in computational form with a bigger number on top. We leave space because this has regrouping. So 5, 7, 3, 5, minus 96. So subtracting 6 from 5 cannot be. So we need to borrow and regroup. So we start with a 6. We need to count to 15. So we need four more to get to 10, and then another five, which means this is a nine. We can't take away nine from two, so we need to borrow and regroup, making it a 12. One thing that we want to refrain from doing is just to put a one in front of the two. That's laziness. So we need to make sure that we cancel out that two and make it a 12. So I'm going to put that here on the side, 12 minus 9. So we start with a 9. We need one more to get to 10 and another 2 to get to 12. That means that's a 3. 6 minus 0 is 6, which means our answer should be 5,639. If we look at the next problem, it's again difference of 9,856 and 797. So 9,856 minus 797. Okay, same approach. Cannot take away 7 from 6, borrow. Makes that 4, makes that 16. We think from 7, we need 3 more, 3 more to get to 10. And we need another 6 to get to 16, which means that's a 9. We can't take away 9 from 4, so we need to borrow 7, and that would be 14. So I'll put it on the side, 14 minus 9. So again, we need one more to get to 10, and another 4 to get to 14, which means this is a 5. And 7 minus 7 is 0, and 9. So which means our answer should be 9,059. And finally, it says find the difference. The bigger number should be on top, 6, 7, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 1, 8. Cannot take away 8 from 2, borrow 0. This becomes 12. So consistency says we start thinking 8 needs a 2. And then we need another 2 to make it to 12. So this must be 4. But we can't take away 1 from 0, borrow 6, cross out, make it 10. If you need to put it to the side so that the kids can concentrate, then it's fine. If they can do it on the same 
column, then it's fine too. So that means I need 9 more. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. And this will be 3. So our final answer should be 3,294. Again, parents, this is going to start getting a little bit more stressful as the lessons go by. They are now in grade 3, therefore it's more challenging. But if we don't establish good methods of teaching them, when they get to the next level, which is grade 4, they'll struggle even more. So please help them as early as now. That concludes lesson 2 of chapter 3. See you in the next lesson.